What's up? My name is Eddie G, and today we talk about fears. We're all afraid of something. Even machete? Yeah, even machete. I mean, if you think machete is bad, you should see his mom when she's mad. I set out to find out what the top 10 fears are, and I ended up finding out there were fears that I didn't even know I was afraid of. Every list is different than the last, but they all have a few of them in common. These are some of the most common fears in no specific order. Fear of public speaking. Fear of death. Fear of the dark. Fear of ghosts, fear of rejection and failure, fear of snakes, spiders, and Donald Trump becoming president, fear of small space, fear of blood and needles, finally, fear of drugs. But I'm here to tell you, you are not hopeless and you're not alone. There are things that you can do, things that I've done, in fact, to get over my fears. Now, keep in mind, I'm not a doctor. I'm just telling you what has worked for me and what has worked for a few other people that I know. So, take it with a grain of salt. Number one. Before anything, you have to have ganas. Ganas for my Spanish challenge friends means to want. But it goes more than just like, hmm. I think I want a burger. Ganas means you want something so bad, it springs you into action. Something that may even make you mad just thinking about it. Like, oh, why am I so afraid? Like, I'm finally gonna do something about it. Number two. You have to define your fear. What about it makes you afraid? If you're afraid of flying, for example, are you afraid of heights or being in an enclosed space for a long period of time? Or is it that you have a fear of losing control? Like, you're not flying that plane. You have to rely on this pilot who might be suicidal. Number three. Once you clearly define your fear, you need to take some baby steps. If you're afraid of heights, you might jump on a Ferris wheel, for example, before you jump on a plane or go skydiving. If you're afraid of spiders, maybe watch a show about spiders before going and touching one. Do what you can to prepare. But you get the idea. Number four. Redefine your fear. Did you know that the physical effects of love and anger are very, very similar? It's true, your heart starts beating really fast. You get that rush of blood to the head and maybe that weird feeling in your stomach. Maybe you get a little shaky. It's very, very similar. But the things that we tell ourselves and the words that we use to describe it are what's different. So instead of thinking you have all this fear inside of you, why don't you redefine it as excitement? Take that fear by the horns and make it your biggest fan. Another thing that you could do is get support from your friends, from your family, talk to people, maybe a psychologist or even a psychiatrist. Number six. After you've done these steps, repeat over and over and over again until you become desensitized to them. And last but not least, number seven. Stop trying to control everything. You know, a lot of our fears arise out of wanting to control things and not having control makes us really anxious. As you get older, the more you will realize that there are a lot of things that are just beyond your control. Bad things are gonna happen to good people. Accidents are going to happen. There are a lot of things out there that you can't control, but there are a lot of things out there that you do have control over. Your own emotions being one of them. But anyway, my name is Eddie G. I do videos about comedy, dance, and culture every single week. Hopefully you like this video. If you did, do me a big favor. Like it and share it. Liking a video is cool. Sharing that video is awesome. Till next time, this is Eddie G, signing off.